Hi friends, welcome back to Natural Living with Sanana. In this video, we are going to review four mineral sunscreen brands. And at the end of this video, you will be able to identify which ones are great for you, which ones are great for your family. You'll know my opinion about these four brands. So watch through the entire video so that you get all of the information. Last week, I did a video on why we need to stop using chemical sunscreens. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. I'll put a link at the end of this video so that you can find your way back to that because we talked about the reasons why it's important to steer clear of chemical sunscreens. They are found in our bodies, they're polluting our environment, and there's a lot more detail in that video. So make sure you check that out. So first I want to start with this product. This is Tropical Vanilla Sun Cream. This is by Eminence. Eminence is the brand that I carried at my spa that I used to own here in Portland. It is one of my favorite skincare lines and I'm gonna be sharing lots of information about Eminence with you as time goes on. But what I didn't realize is that this sunscreen has octinoxate in it. And octinoxate is one of the chemical sunscreens. It is unsafe for us. It's an estrogen mimicker and an endocrine disruptor and a thyroid disruptor, so it's certainly something that we want to steer clear of. So I'm really sad because I did love this sunscreen, but I'm actually gonna have to stop using it. And so that is why I've been looking for other sunscreens that are great alternatives. So let's jump right in and talk about sunscreens. We'll talk about these brands. I am gonna start by talking about Goddess Garden. So Goddess Garden is a great natural skincare line. Uh, it's very safe for sensitive skin. It's reef safe. It has an SPF of 30. This one is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. The price for this is $17.99. Uh, it is a six ounce bottle. Goddess Garden actually only has 8% titanium dioxide and 5% zinc oxide. So that is actually not very good sun protection. We want to see the zinc oxide at at least 15%. Now maybe they're thinking if they did eight and five, that gives you 12 when you're combining them. So maybe that's an okay level of coverage, but I don't know. Again, I would have to use this to see how that worked out. One note about zinc oxide and titanium dioxide is that zinc oxide is very good at broad spectrum coverage. It is UVA and UVB. Titanium dioxide doesn't have as good of UVA coverage, so it's best that they are combined if you are seeing titanium dioxide in your sunscreen that you are considering purchasing. And this is a spray sunscreen. Now this does not get a very good rating on EWG. It actually has a score of four and I'm guessing that's because it is a spray sunscreen. And the spray sunscreens, there is some concern that inhaling the spray is maybe not good for us. So EWG, the Environmental Working Group, has actually requested that the FDA do more studies on the spray sunscreens. The other thing about spray sunscreen is that it sprays everywhere when you're putting it on and it's harder to control. You may not cover yourself very well with it. What I found with this one is that it definitely left a very big white cast. So I wasn't too happy with that. I probably wouldn't buy this brand again, but one tip I can tell you about spray sunscreens is sometimes I find if you just spray them right into your hand instead of spraying them on your body, then you can make sure that you're covering your entire skin and body so that you have better coverage. Because some of what they have found with spray sunscreens is that people do end up getting burnt because they didn't have good coverage. It doesn't spread over the entire skin surface just with spraying. So that's one of the drawbacks of a spray. People do like them because they seem to be more convenient. 
I don't really find that to be the case. I probably wouldn't buy this sunscreen again just because of the white cast and also the spray factor. So I would say that's a deal breaker for me on this one. They do, however, have this beautiful after sun gel. I did try this out as well and it has a very nice consistency. It's aloe vera. It does have a lot of organic ingredients in it, which is very nice, and a very nice after sun product. Also could be used probably for other burns because it is aloe vera based. This is a lovely product and I do like it. The next one I wanna talk about is My Shell is another great clean brand. They actually have the clean label project seal on the bottle, which is fantastic. This is also reef safe. It has an SPF of 30. It's a clear spray. It also has some other helpful ingredients in it, including bentonite clay and jojoba. So it's very moisturizing. When I tried it, it does have a little bit of a waterier consistency than the Goddess Garden. And I found that it went on more smoothly than the Goddess Garden did. So it also has a zinc oxide of 12%. So 12% zinc oxide is a little less than we would like to see. We'd like to see 15% or more. The cost for this My Shell spray is $20. The next brand that we are going to review is Badger. And I purchased three products from Badger. The first one that I tried was this active sunscreen. It's a natural mineral sunscreen. Badger is an excellent company. It is a B Corp. They are doing great things to help protect the oceans. It's one of the mineral sunscreen companies that has been around for quite a while. So they really do know natural mineral sunscreen. This one, it's safe, it's effective, it is family friendly. It can be used on everyone. This is unscented, 98% organic ingredients in this product. It has an SPF of 30 and it is water resistant for 40 minutes. That is one of the drawbacks to this particular sunscreen is that it does just have a 40 minute limit for time spent in the water before you need to reapply your sunscreen. This is one of the things that people need to be aware of with mineral sunscreens and that is that we have to reapply. Mineral sunscreens are different than chemical sunscreens and it basically is creating a physical barrier on your skin with that zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So that can come off. This one says after 40 minutes and most of the others are after 80 minutes. That is something that you want to check out on your bottle because that will really make a difference and you want to make sure that you're following those instructions. So again, this is the active version of the Badger sunscreen. It is broad spectrum. It has 18.75% zinc oxide. It is the non-nano uncoated zinc oxide. So that is important as well. Some of the nanoparticle sunscreens have not been tested or studied, and there is some concern about those nanoparticles making it easier for ingredients to get inside of our bodies. The Environmental Working Group, again, has requested that the FDA do more studies on the nanoparticles so that we can see what effect they are actually having. So there is some caution with nanoparticles. One of the problems is not all companies report or say that they do not have nanoparticles. That is one thing that the Badger company is doing a great job of. They're actually telling us on the label non-nano. So this is biodegradable, it's reef safe. All of the Badger products are reef safe and Badger actually has pretty good prices. That is one thing about this company. The tubes are small but they're pretty thick, so they last a little bit longer. This is a 2.9 ounce tube, and the cost for this one is $15.99. So next up for Badger is this Clear Daily. This is actually a lotion by Badger. I think that they were attempting to make a product that is not quite as thick as most of their sunscreens. They're known for being a pretty 
thick brand. The products just go on thickly. They're very heavy, very moisturizing. That's the benefit of the heaviness. So they were wanting to make more of a lotion product. This one also is non-whitening. It is a daily face and body lotion. It says it's easy to apply and non-greasy. It's non-GMO, it's non-comedogenic, hypoallergenic. It does have 84% organic ingredients in it, so that's great. Zinc oxide is 15%. That is another plus on this product. And the cost on this is $18.99. It is an SPF 30, which is great. That is what I pretty much recommend for everyday use is SPF 30. You can go down to 15, but for most people, SPF 30 is a really great place to be. The one thing about this product is that it is not made for use in the water. So it doesn't even have the water rating. It actually just says reapply every two hours. So if you're not getting in and out of the water with most mineral sunscreens application, reapplication every two hours is recommended. The next Badger product that we have is this Clear Sport 40. This one is actually made for kids, but I really liked it. It's tangerine and vanilla scented and smells great. Again, it's reef friendly, it's non-GMO, it has 98% organic ingredients. That is really amazing. It's a clear zinc product and it is safe for use in the water for up to 80 minutes. This has 22.5% zinc oxide which gives it the 40 rating, the SPF of 40. And SPF just means that you are 95 to 98% less likely to get burned in the sun for the amount of time that they recommend with each product. So that would be two hours or 80 minutes if you are in the water. So I really liked this product. I think it really does go on clear once you rub it in for a bit. It did take a little bit to rub in, but it does have a really nice moisturizing feel. This was one of my favorite of the Badger products. It's a 2.9 ounce tube and it's $16.99 for the tube. So the last Badger product that we're going to talk about is Badger Clear Zinc. And this is a sunscreen cream and it is a thick balm. I would say that this would be great for water sports if you're going to be surfing, if you're going to be doing anything in the water. This is a thick balm. It reminds me of, you know, when people wipe the white here on their cheeks and put the stripe right down their nose. Uh, that is what I think you would do with this product. So I think it's really great for those types of situations. It does actually rub in okay and doesn't leave too much of a white cast after a bit, but it is very, very thick and took quite a bit of the product um, in order to rub it into my skin. It does have an SPF of 40, which is excellent. Again, I think it's a great product for water sports. The other really positive thing about this is that it is in this tin can which is excellent because it's fully recyclable. That is one of the things about some of these other products. The tubes obviously are not recyclable and these are recyclable, so that is good. It's an aluminum tin, which I think you can recycle. Also, it does say it's Protect Land and Sea certified, so that's another excellent certification that they have. And of course, it's reef friendly. I love the packaging. It's really beautiful. So this is a great product if you need something like this. It's also pretty easy to throw in your bag or throw in your car and keep close by for when you need something like this. So in conclusion, I really love this Babo product. It's kid friendly, it's baby friendly, it's an all around great product. It feels good going on. It's safe. It has 16% zinc oxide. This is one of my top picks out of this group of product. My second pick is this Badger. It's 40 SPF for when you need a little more coverage and when you're going to be in the water more. I really like it. It's a great product for kids and also 
for adults. My third pick would be the My Shell. Again, this is a spray, so we do have to be careful with sprays, but it did go on nicely. Good texture and consistency and I think it is a pretty nice product overall. So that's it for this review video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the little bell so that you get notified every time a new video comes out. I am going to have links down in the description about all of these products. I actually will have my first affiliate link since I started my channel. An affiliate link is a place where you can go to buy these products, the ones that you liked and would like to try. And when you do buy them, I get a little commission. So it's a nice way for you to support me and give me a little love and gratitude for the information that I have been providing you week after week and will continue to do. So go ahead and hit that link if you would like to try out any of these products. And I thank you very much for doing that. I love having you guys in this community. It's really great. I love it when you make comments. Tell me what your favorite mineral sunscreen is. I would love to hear about your favorite brand. Again, you can look them all up on EWG's Skin Deep database or Think Dirty. I will put links to both of those in the description as well as the made safe information. They have a lot of great information about sunscreens as well. So I hope this was helpful. It's just starting to be summer here in Portland. I hope you're having summer wherever you are too. And stay safe, everyone. Use your mineral sunscreens, get rid of the chemical sunscreens and check out the video from last week if you need more information about the reasons to get rid of those chemical sunscreens. All right, everyone, take care. I wish you the very best of health and I'll see you next week when we will be talking about mineral sunscreens for your face. I'm going to be doing a review on all of the cosmetic mineral sunscreens. So we'll have those on next week. All right, take care everyone. See you soon.